Hello everyone, my name is SoundPixel and welcome to another tutorial in the tutorial series on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to install plugins into FL Studio. Since the FL Studio 12 update, it's been a lot harder to install plugins into FL Studio. And for beginners that haven't had experience with this yet, it's going to be near impossible. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to install a plugin into FL Studio. It's going to be really easy, so let's go. The plugin we're going to be installing today is called Sforzando, and it's a free sound font player. I'll have the link for this in the description, and once you go to that link, just click on download right here, and go to the operating system that your computer runs on. I have Windows, so I'm going to get the Windows version. Once that has finished downloading, go ahead and open it up, and let's go through the installation process. So first select your language, uh, and then let's accept the agreement go to here and now I just don't recommend changing anything here because this is the default location of where Sforzando will be installed to so just go ahead and click next uh, leave this the same unless you are installing to a different VST but or a different uh, digital audio workstation but FL Studio uses VST 32 and 64 formats once you reach this screen go ahead and click on browse and I recommend creating some folders specifically for 32 and 64 bit VSTs. Now just to clear up a little bit of confusion on what the difference is there, basically it's what version of the operating system will this plugin be compatible with. So most newer computers are going to be running 64 bit VST or 64 bit windows and a lot of older computers are going to be running 32 bit windows. So really it's just how new your computer is. So let's go ahead and click on 64-bit VST um, for the 64-bit installation location. And let's go and do the same thing, except we'll click 32-bit VST for the 32 VST installation location. And you will go ahead and click install. Um, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do that, but um, clicking install will complete the installation process. Now let's jump back into FL Studio and we are going to go up to options and file settings and then let's go to manage plugins right here. Now this will open up the FL Studio plugin manager and if you haven't done this before it's going to look a little bit different over here. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything over here um, if you haven't added anything over here. So I'm going to show you how to add stuff over here. First you just go to this little plus folder button there and navigate to where you created your 32-bit and 64-bit VST folders. I've already got those added right here, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Start Scan, and this is going to scan through all the locations that you have specified over here to see if there are VST plugins available. If you installed Sforzando correctly, it will say something like, one new plugin found right next to where mine says 142 plugins found. So let's go ahead and exit out of all of those, open up the pattern maker, and let's go to our browser. So in the browser, we're gonna to go to plugin database, installed, and generators. I won't have it because I didn't actually install a plugin, but there's gonna be another folder here called new. Gonna go ahead and open that up, and you will see Sport Sondo there highlighted in yellow. Go ahead and drag that into the pattern maker, and congratulations, you've gotten Sport Sondo into FL Studio. However, if you go to insert a plugin, you'll see that Sforzando is nowhere to be seen in this list. Of course, mine is right here because I've already done this, uh, but for you, it will not be there. And this is how you get it there. Uh, go back to the browser, close up generators, close up installed, and go to this generators right here and open up sampler because this is a sampler plugin. Next, you're gonna go to this little drop down here and go to add to plugin database and click OK. And now when you go to insert plugins, you will see that Sforzando shows up under this little sampler heading right here. And there you go. So guys, that is how you install plugins into FL Studio. It works for any plugin. I was just doing Sforzando because it was a request from my friend. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what you can actually do with Sforzando. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video, make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next tutorial.